Foster Wheeler AG subsidiary Global Engineering and Construction Group entered into a joint venture agreement with the state oil company of Azerbaijan Republic. As per the Memorandum of Understanding signed by the companies, a jointly owned company will be formed. A state-owned company, Sokar, works in the field of oil and gas exploration, production, transportation and marketing. Sokar plans to construct an oil, gas processing and petrochemical complex in Garadag, Republic of Azerbaijan. The newly formed joint company will provide process, engineering, procurement, construction supervision and project management services related with the expansion of the new oil, gas processing and petrochemical complex. UK desperately needs a new energy strategy based on the realistic assessment of its assets, its needs and its options available to it. Unfortunately, its freedom for technical and financial maneuver is deeply restricted by its self-imposed Climate Change Act and its commitment to the EU's 2020 targets. It is technically illiterate if financially canny politicians and civil service do not appear to understand that the world's finances are not likely to place the required £200 billion of long-term investments into their vision of a low-carbon infrastructure. While this concept remains so woolly and badly defined, if the UK government continues on this course, it will lead the country towards certain energy failure. After hundreds of years of imperial and industrial power, the UK has suddenly become more or less powerless as a world player. With its North Sea resources fast depleting, just when the world's upstream energy producers of oil, coal and gas are struggling to meet rising global demand, saddled by a public debt of £1 trillion and a massive trade deficit, its leading role as an innovative, world-class centre of scientific and manufacturing know-how being ceded to Germany, Japan and now China, it is prepared to become a net energy importer. That's all for now. Thank you for watching Waves.